Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, soccer fans of all ages, this is Armand Colombo Field at Rocky Marciano Stadium, and today it is the first round of the MIAA South Sectional Playoffs. It's the Marshfield Rams and the Brockton Boxers. As always, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, bringing you all the action high atop the turf here at Brockton High School. The Rams have certainly seen better years. They come in as the 16 seed, 6, 10, and 2, winning their division, getting the automatic bid. That's a good for a 389 win percentage. And the Boxers have had quite the year. They come in at 15, 1, and 2, the number one seed, only losing the last game of the regular season against the big three divisional rivals, the New Bedford Whalers. Brockton quite possibly could be the first team that has a number one seed that is not their division champion. Of course, as come with the playoffs, a quick turnover for the winner of this game as they will play Monday against either Natick or King Philip. If it's Brockton, we'll have it for you on Brockton Community Access. It will be right here at Marciano Stadium. Marshfield wearing their away green jerseys, white shorts with white and black trim around. Brockton in their home whites, as they will be for the duration of the tournament, with red and black trim. Starting goaltenders for the visiting Rams, it's Colby Weber. And for Brockton, going with the defensive-minded Fabio Andrade. We are underway. Marshfield first possession. Number 17 has it. And Brockton takes over Odair Montero back to Claudio Mascarenas. Mascarenas going across the back to Paulo Romalo. Pass for Montero just off the mark. And now sent back to the boxer's keeper. Fabio Andrade has had a fantastic season. In the time he's seen backstopping the boxers. Marshfield usually a gritty team that likes to get physical, try to get under the skin of their opponents. Much the same way that Dartmouth did here a few weeks ago. Well, we're at the end of a busy weekend for BCA Sports last night. A little bit of dual threat action. We were in Marshfield and Franklin. It's the Rams hosting the boxers for game of football and up in Franklin it's the girls first round matchup is Odier Montero launching one it's going to go wide to the left well, the girls falling to the Franklin Panthers 4 to 2 the final in that one excellent stop by Jonathan Rodriguez and it ping-pongs in the direction of Leonardo Texera. And talking with head coach Arminio Furtado before this game, I said the biggest surprise for me this entire year, forget about the undefeated or almost undefeated record, forget about the number one seed in the tournament and the phenomenal run that they went on. Biggest surprise for me was the scoring touch of Leonardo Texera. I said, do you agree? He said, absolutely not. I saw him over the summer in adult club leagues, and he was tearing up the scoring sheets there. Meanwhile, the rest of pretty much everybody that age is playing in the kid, or the youth leagues. But Leonardo Texera playing in the adult leagues, tearing it up. And no surprises, Herminio Furtado said, he's got that sneaky speed. You think he's, he's a little bit of a bigger kid, 
you think he's going to be a little bit slow, but once he gets going, he is absolutely unstoppable. And this one deep into the box into the diving arms of Colby Weber, and there's boxer a little bit slow to get up. It's Jonathan Rodriguez that is favoring his right side after diving to try to get that ball along with Colby Weber. Mascarenas all the way across to Paulo Romalo. The other boxer defender is Derek DePina, the co-captain of this team. This one back to Mascarenas, up to Junior Gomes, the senior nice co-captain. He sends nice it in, ball. looking for Texera, and it's broken up by the Rams' defense. Marshfield playing with four men back. All good ball. And now up, oh, and it's on sides. Jonathan Rodriguez launches a oh. shot, and it's going to go just wide to the left, about a foot and a half wide, and Brockton... Within about 18 inches of making this a one nothing game. <laughs> Goal kick for Colby Weber. Five minutes into this game, Brockton already with a few scoring opportunities. None better than the last one. Jonathan Rodriguez in alone on a breakaway. And sending it about a foot and a half wide. Now we have a push against Brockton. Excellent weather for a soccer game tonight. A little bit cold. A little bit cold. Other than that, couldn't ask for a better night. It's 44 degrees out. Not too much wind. Gusts of up to six miles an hour to the northeast. Good moist air, 72% humidity, 39 degree dew point. And the temperature is going to play a factor as well. Talking to Coach Furtado before the game, he said, you know, some of these kids are new to this country. They just got here over the summer. This is their first time playing soccer up here. Hey, Bernie's not cold. It's always hot. And the places these guys came from, you mentioned two countries in particular. It's Haiti and Cape Verde. Those are not, Ooh, nice those are not cool climates. These guys got to get used to the cold and got to do a fast if the boxers want to have a deep postseason run. This one sent into the boxer bench and JV coach Paul Bronco, who has not had an opportunity to be here too much for the varsity games this year, but making his appearance known for the playoffs. This one sent over the top. Jonathan Rodriguez is in and on sides. Rodriguez hesitating with it, stopping, waiting for help and support, and it's going to go over the end line, and it's going to be a corner kick. And it's going to be taken by none other than Odair Montero. Felix, you're on here? He's on his way. He's, uh, he was in Hanover with my granddaughter's game, but he's coming down. So corner kick for the boxers, their first such opportunity of the game. Now a shot from Montero and an excellent one-handed save by Colby Weber. Brockton tic-tac-toeing it up perfectly. And a one-handed grab 
for Colby Weber. And offsides against the Rams. It's action picking up fast here in the first round of the MIAA South Sectional Playoffs. Marshfield without a shot on net to this point, about 10 minutes into the first half. Mascarena sending it long and not quite long enough for Marshfield sending this one back towards midfield. It's number 19 with it. Now back heel pass attempted by Gomes is broken up. Jake Lesperance doing the work in the middle for the Rams. Hey. A short passing game going for the boxers. <laughs> this one sent long. Brockton and Derek Depina is going to head it back to Andrade. Andrade throwing it out to Mascarenas. And out of bounds. Hey, Kevin. Kevin. See those three kids down there? The three kids down there, they're looking for you. Those three. They're from Marshfield. Marshfield thrown in front of the boxer bench. Popped high and headed by Texera back closer to midfield. Now Depina getting his leg on it. It goes out just north of the Brockton bench. Justin Petrillo throwing this one in. A shot and a save for Fabio Andrade. Good passing game there for the Rams. And the first shot on goal for Marshfield. Now Brockton over the top, it's going to go into the awaiting arms of Colby Weber. And it'll be a Rams throwing just inside midfield. Marshfield with it in the middle of the field. Brockton taking it over. Marshfield blocking the pass. And Montero sending it back to Romalo. Mascarenas now carrying it in the middle of the field. Sending it long over the top. It's on sides. And fighting for space is Leonardo Texera. It'll be a Rams throw in. Marshfield has had the momentum after Jonathan Rodriguez came with an 18 inches of the back of the net. 
And off sides now against the boxers. This one's gonna be sent long and into the Brockton bench. And a timeout called by Brockton. So 26 and a half minutes to go in the first half, still scoreless between the Marshfield Rams and the Brockton Boxers in the first round of the MIAA South Sectional Division One tournament. We're gonna step aside, take a quick breather and bring you the rest of the first half right after this. I don't know why they called the timeout, but whatever. <clears throat> Rolling. Uh, it's, yeah, it's good, yeah. Five, four, three, two. Welcome back in to Marciano Stadium. We're, the first round of the MIAA playoffs is in full swing. Scoreless between the Marshfield Rams and the top seeded Brockton Boxers. Brockton has just used their first half timeout. It's Texera. There's a ping-ponging off his foot out here. Montero back to Gomes. Gomes up to Rodriguez, and it's just out of reach. I'm not even behind you. I'm behind you. Big ass the 16th seeded Rams coming in at 6-10-2. And, and their head coach says it's a clean slate. Everyone's 0-0 in the playoffs. Asked, asked about the daunting task of facing the top seeded 15, one and two boxers, the top ranked team in the state. He said, we played them last year, we fought them to a draw. He says this team is quite adept at the game of soccer and they know what to expect from Brockton. Head coach Furtado said more or less the same thing. Said we fought to a draw last season. We've made adjustments based on that performance. We've seen some of their games this year and he's sure they've seen some of ours. As this one sent through the football uprights and out of play. Andrade in the middle of the field having trouble with it. Uh, Mascarena bobbing and weaving, sending it up to Montero. Montero's cross, and Leonardo Texera has it go off the toe, and it's going to be a corner kick for the boxers as the rule of goalie got at least a hand on it. Montero's going to take the corner kick. Brockton a couple of inches away from scoring on their last corner kick attempt. Montero through the box and a shot and a goal for Brockton. The boxers are on top off of the corner kick for Mota and Montero. It went right through the box. And Junior Gomes with the tally for the boxers. So Junior Gomes with the icebreaker here in the playoffs, the senior co-captain leading by example off the corner kick from Odair Montero. Derek DePino was in the area as well. And it's Gomes right back, Texera rather, right back in. His shot goes wide to the right. So a little bit out of the ordinary. Brockton taking about 17 minutes to score. 
almost the entire season. We've seen him score in the first 10 minutes. It's Mascarenas slowing things down in the middle of the field. Tic-tac-toe for Depina, Andra, and Montero. Sent a little bit low off balance for Andrade. Brockton relentless pressure on the ball, double teaming the ball. At every opportunity. And Reven Rodriguez is now into the game for Brockton. He's got an excellent scoring touch as well. And we have a Marshfield Ram down at the 40 yard line. Free kick for the Rams. About 10 yards inside of Brockton's midfield. Long kick, trying to get it over the top, is headed and loose. And Gomes sends it out to safety. Now a whistle as being dragged down to the ground was Rodriguez, and he is down. Slow to get up. Rather, Leonardo Texera, the hurt boxer. It'll be a free kick. Very dangerous territory here. It's about 20 yards out from net. Montero's going to take it for the boxers. Uh, it's going to be Junior Gomes for Brockton. Trying to pull away, make it 2 0 is Junior Gomes. Two man wall for Marshfield and sent right off the wheel, ping pong your run. And it's gonna be offsides against the boxers. <laughs> Halfway through the first half, it's Brockton one, Marshfield nothing. 16th seeded Rams in the top ranked boxers in the first round of the MIAA South sectional playoffs. Again, winner of this game will face either Natick, the Red Hawks, or King Philip. That game happening concurrently to this one. This one ping pongs back to Paulo Romalo. That's Mascarenas. Mario Mendoza playing back mid. for Leonardo Texeri. He's trying to fight off three Rams unsuccessful in that effort. Good starter step for number 24. That is Daniel Andrade who has seen increased playing time in the later stages of this season. And a questionable offsides. Called against Brockton at the 20 yard line of the football markings. Thank you. 
17 and a half minutes to go in the first half. Andrade over the top for Reven Rodriguez and Marshfield's goalie Colby Weber gets his hands on it. Weber has been tested early and often in this one. Rodriguez being held in his jersey tugged no whistle as this one sent into the stands. Marshfield throwing. Now over the top into some space. Texera turning on the Jets and getting there and forcing Marshfield to kick it out. Well, it's close to the end line, but I think they're going to say it's a throw in. Pina coming all the way north from the boxers' back line to take this one. Over the end line off of Brockton, so a goal kick for the Rams. And we'll see Jalen DeRosa coming into the game for the first time. Replaces Daniel Andrade. It's more offensive minded DeRosa in it back mid. Now sent over the top, Texera is in on sides. And it's ping-ponging around and it finds its way out of bounds off of Marshfield. DeRosa with a deep throw right into the box is headed in, saved by Weber. into the Brockton bench off of Marshfield. It's Montero, DeRosa, and Mascarenas. Now up to Jonathan Rodriguez. Rodriguez going in and out. And now off of Junior Gomes. And a missed kick, and Montero with some space. Out here, Montero's cross is going to go out of bounds, and it'll be yet another corner kick for the boxers. Montero to take this one, curving it outward back towards midfield. Low kick, and almost headed in by a diving Texera. Marshfield able to clear out. Under 14 minutes to go now in the first half. It's one nothing boxers over the Rams. This one sent long in on Fabio Andrade. Derek Depina in the middle of the field with a lot of space. No pressure from the Marshfield offense. Now some comes, he gets it over to Mascarenas. Mascarenas up to DeRosa. DeRosa back into the middle for Andrade. Now over the top looking for Odair Montero in space. He's got some in the ball. His cross 
And still loose and it bounces in and Barkin is on the board again. Brockton's up two to nothing as Riven Rodriguez handled the cross from Odeir Montero. That is Riven Rodriguez assisted by Odeir Montero. Just under 12 minutes to go in the first half. Rockton up two to nothing over the Marshfield Rams. Brendan Barressa making his way into the game for Marshfield. Brockton working the short passing game. Ten minutes to go in the first half. Marshfield with an opportunity broken up by Derek DePino who sends it back towards midfield. Leonardo Texera fighting off a couple of Rams and he's got it in the middle looking for some space to fire off a one-timer. Instead sends it through to Rodriguez and it's loose in the box and Marshfield's able to clear out but not out of danger yet as Junior Gomes has it. Gomes being held up, gets through and Ode Montero launching one through the football uprights. A little bit too much excitement there for Ode Montero. Now it's Gomes with the boxers up 2 nothing, looking to add to that. It's about eight minutes left in the first half. Oh my god. Okay, fuck you go. Oh no, what? What do you mean fuck you go? 
This one is shot and another goal for Brockton. It was Texera out in front and a bullet from out of here Montero and Brockton's up three to nothing. And officially, it is Leonardo Texera assisted by Odair Montero. Montero's second assist on the night. 3 0 boxers, 6.45 to go in the first. So Brockton has been testing Colby Weber early and often. Tonight, able to get three of those shots through. And pressuring once again against the bottom seeded Rams. Number 27, Renilson Mendez, the sophomore defender, getting ready to come into the game for the boxers. As we cross the five minute mark. And Brockton leading big over the Rams. It's Tex Aaron again. This one sent a little bit too long. And skied out of play. Temperature continuing to drop. Started off at 47, now we're at 43. Jalen DeRosa sending this one in looking for Jonathan Rodriguez loose and Marshfield able to clear but not out. And now they're able to take a little breath but Brockton will have a throw in from about the 25 yard line. Brendan Tobin getting ready to come into the game for the Rams. Brendan Tobin. 3.45 left to go in the first half. Brendan Tobin. As Tobin makes his way into the game. Very large crowd here at Marciano Stadium for a very highly anticipated Playoff run for the Boxers, the top seeded, only one loss on the year, 15, one and two. Top ranked in the state, vaunted Brockton Boxers. Last loss coming against New Bedford, a two to one loss. Coach Rodato said they relaxed a little bit too much early in that game. They let New Bedford do what they wanted. Stop short of saying Brockton gave up on the undefeated season, but that was certainly the tone. Oh, 
Now another opportunity a shot and deflected off the outside of the post and out. It'll be a goal kick for the Rams. Two minutes to go, the official time is kept on the field. The scoreboard clock stops. Do have a stopwatch going, attempting to gauge the stoppage time, about 15 seconds into that. And an offsides against the Rams. Mascarena springing it up slowly but surely and now to Odeir Montero, already with two assists on the day. Back to Mendes. Depina sending it all the way up. It's gonna be on sides. Sent back into the middle, Rodriguez jumping with Colby Weber. And a little good save there from Rodriguez to Weber. About a minute left in the first half. Three nothing boxers on top of the Marshfield Rams. Now it's Mendes. Back to Gomes. Gomes stopping and spinning with it. Sending it back into the middle where it's broken up by the Rams. Jalen DeRosa pushed off the ball. He's able to regain composure. Sending it over to Mascarenas. Mascarenas short of Rodeo and Montero. Spinning through two defenders. And Rodriguez couldn't control it off of his back heel. It's Gomes once again. Back to Claudio Mascarenas. Over to Ramallo. Now it's DeRosa sending it through and Go uh, Rodriguez, excuse me, is run into. And this shot is going to be easily saved by Colby Weber with about 10 seconds left in the first half. Here Gomes with it in the middle. He's tripped up. Junior Gomes earning a free kick for the boxers just inside midfield. And last opportunity for the boxers. It is Ruven Rodriguez on the far side. Sending the cross back up for Junior Gomes. Marshfield takes over and this one's going to find its way back to Claudio Mascarenas Mascarenas back north he's pushed off the ball won't be much time here left at all Junior Gomes able to punch it through to Mendoza and Marshfield back the other way Mendy's sending it into one of the Rams' defenders, getting it back. <laughs> and broken up by number 15 of the Rams. That is Justin Petrillo. Petrillo sending it out of bounds. Montero throw in. He gets it back, whistles blow. And the first half has come to an end. A very good first half for the Brockton Boxers. They lead the Marshfield Rams 3 to nothing in the first round of the MIAA South Sectional Playoffs. We're going to step aside and take a short break and bring you second half action right after this. Green hat. Red hat. Oops. <laughs> Red shirt, blue shirt, <laughs> yellow shirt, oops. <laughs> <laughs> yellow pants, red pants, 
green pants. <gasps> Oops. <laughs> Good morning. Hope you all had a good weekend and are ready to be inspired. One quick thing I want to remind you guys to be studying. Major key alert. Did you just look at your phone while you was in class? You played yourself. Today we're talking about inspirational quotes. You want to get that paper? You better turn in that paper and get an A+. That's a major key. Another one. Another. Mogul talk. You want to reach the mountaintop? You got to go hard. To succeed, you have to believe. Stay focused, fly higher than the eagle. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it, so make it. Louise, Louise, can you give me an example of an inspirational quote from recent history? Don't play yourself. The key is to make it. And who said that? I did. Now that's a major key alert. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at getschool.com. Get caught buzz driving, and you could do some hard time. Craig, knock it off. Sorry, Mom. It could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. And that could set you back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Here's your check. You got it. You know, since I got rid of my car, I really enjoy walking. Okay. Got it. No, no. Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Oh, you're home early. You live with your mom? That'll set your game back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, soccer fans of all ages, welcome back into... I'm in Colombo Field here at Rocky Marciano Stadium for second half action between the 16th seeded Marshfield Rams and the one seeded Brockton Boxers. Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action. High atop the turf here at Brockton High School where the Boxers are leading the Rams three to nothing. Odeir Montero with two assists. And those goals coming from Leonardo Texera. And Junior Gomes. Riven Rodriguez also on the score sheet. Marshfield's wearing their away green jerseys. White shorts, white and black trim. Boxers in their home whites that we've seen quite a bit this year and get used to them because for the duration of the tournament, the boxers will be the home team. Temperature continuing to drop here in Brockton. Started out around 47. It's now down to around 42. Riven Rodriguez in the middle of the field, popping it up. And offsides? Offsides is the call? These refs watching the same game that we are? So, Marshfield free kick, three minutes into. This second half and a miss head. And Rodriguez taken down by the goaltender. We're not going to have a call.
It, okay, it is. It's going to be a penalty kick for the boxers. I want to hear Montero to do the honors as Rodriguez was taken down by Colby Weber, the goaltender for Marshfield, in the box. It's Montero and Weber one on one. Montero in, shoots right, and it's another goal for the boxers. Want to hear Montero on the penalty kick, getting it underneath and past Colby Weber. And the boxers lead four to nothing early in the second half. Montero, three assists and a goal on the night. For the senior midfielder, have a game. This one sent through the football uprights. Field goal is good, counted for three points. So Brockton has started to run away with it. It is four to nothing. Five minutes into the second half. Last goal, Odair Montero on the PK. And that was set up from Jonathan Rodriguez. Being taken down in the box by Colby Weber. Now it's Brockton three on four up turf, and Marshfield's D is gonna win that battle. Breathing over to Junior Gomes. Gomes trying to force it through back to Rodriguez. Unsuccessful in that effort. Injury timeout for the Rams is limping, favoring his left leg and has not moved his left arm. Number 14 is gonna be the replacement. Troy Color into the game. The injured Ram as this one goes wide to the left is number 25, Brendan Tobin, who came in not too long ago. Good play there for number five of the boxers. Now sent ahead for Riven Rodriguez, shielding it, trying to create some separation. Does just that, Riven Rodriguez with a goal, and this one sent over the end line. And it'll be a goal kick, uh, corner kick, excuse me, for the boxers. Odair Montero, three assists and a goal on the day, having a foot in each of the boxers' four goals, trying to do it again here. Short kick, and broken up, and we're gonna do it again. Winner of this game will go on to face either 
Natick or King Phillip. As the corner kick is loose in the box and it ping pongs and finds the foot of one of the Marshfield Rams and this will wind up being a goal kick. This one will travel wide. Nine minutes into the first half, a couple of substitutions for the boxers, Edson Lopes, Leonardo Texera, and Brendan Gomes coming into the game for the boxers. Scoring update. King Phillip leading the Natick Red Hawks 1-0 early in the second half. So if everything holds and the scores remain the same, as this one's going to be offsides against the boxers, Brockton will host King Phillip here Monday night. Forecast, 71 degrees, but raining. Can't have it both ways in New England. If it's warm, it's raining, and if it's cold, well, then it's cold. Interesting sight here at Marciano Stadium. Brockton High cheerleaders in attendance for this game. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that this is the first soccer game that the cheerleaders, not as people but as a group, have attended as Edson Lopes is now in his cross for Texera. Texera pounds at home! Leonardo Texera from Edson Lopes and the Boxers are up by five. Leonardo Texera's second of the night and Edson Lopes fresh into the game. Making his presence felt on the score sheet assisting. In your fun fact of the day, that is the first goal this game that Odair Montero has not been a part of. Sent back to Fabio Andrade, who has not been tested often or early in this one, is wasting some time off the clock here. Derek DePina now has his pass intercepted, and Marshfield with an opportunity, a shot, and a goal. Marshfield's on the board. Number 16, scoring that goal for Sam Wheeler for the Rams. And the 
Rams are on the board. So it's five to one with 26 minutes and some change to go. Brady Kelly getting ready to come into the game for the Rams, and we're gonna see their backup goaltender as well. It looks like it's Andrew May. So I don't know whether this is in Admission of defeat. As we have an injured Ram down at the 50 yard line. The whistle blows and he's gonna pop right back up. Number seven, Ronan Hume. And Brockton's Second goalkeeper, David Isaac, is into the game, replacing Fabio Andrade. So it's Isaac getting some time here, 25 minutes to go. As Andrade has had a pretty good game. A few times he's been tested. One would imagine we're going to see Dalton Rocha at some point in net for the boxers. When that is, yet to be determined. Texera going down in the box, no call, and this will wind up as a goal kick for the Rams. Edson Lopes again with some space on the near side. Lopes over to Gomes, back to Lopes. And Lopes with some space in the corner. Can he catch up to it? Yes, the cross is ping pong around. Listen to the box, a shot. And it's a goal for the boxers. There was a lot happening on that play for the Brockton boxers. Edson Lopes created the opportunity. You said 20? You got it, Felix? Odeir Montero scoring that goal unassisted. So for those keeping score at home, Odeir Montero, two goals, three assists, has a foot 
in five of the now six Brockton goals on the night. The score is six to one, Brockton on top. Marshfield sending this one back. Rockton with a slide tackle to keep possession. Well executed there for the boxers. The cross is going to wind its way out of bounds off of Marshfield, so another corner kick. And another one for Brockton off the corner kick. Wait, word on who got that one. Edson Lopes getting his foot on that one. So Lopes now with a goal and an assist. Seven to one, boxers on top of Marshfield. Good turn for Gomes. Twenty-one long minutes left for the Marshfield Rams as they trail seven to one against the top-ranked Brockton Boxers. Deep throw into the box, Marshfield with some space on the far side. Now Brockton's defense closes in. And it'll be a corner kick for the Rams. I want to take this opportunity to thank our cameraman for tonight's festivities, the one, the only, the prolific cinematographer, the gentleman, A. A. Ron, Aaron Tebow, bringing you all the sights and sounds. This one's headed up off the football crossbar and out. Ermino Lima, Ermino Lima getting ready to come into the game. Let's see, Ermino Lima, Elio DeAndrade into the game for Marshfield for the boxers. It's Brian Deleuze. And Felipe Pinto, the junior midfielder in for Brockton. Oh, 
This one back on David Isaac. So Odair Montero has been the story of this one. Two goals, three assists. So we have about 18 minutes left in the second half and in the first round of the MIAA South Sectional Playoffs. This one back to Isaac, as Brockton can now play the clock game. So it's seven to one, the boxers over the Rams. A little bit of payback for last night's Rams victory over the boxers in football, 37 to 35, the final score in that one. So we're now going to see some platoon substitutions for the boxers. Riven Rodriguez, Leandro Barros, Eric Brito, and Daniel Andrade. And all getting ready to enter the game. As Edson Lopes launches a shot off of the right post of the football uprights. You can chalk this one up as a win. For the boxers, barring a few, more than a few small miracles. We'll be here Monday night against either King Philip or Natick. King Philip leading that game 1-0 over the Red Hawks. This one's going to be a free kick. So it remains one nothing King Philip over Natick. Eleven minutes to go in that one. So if all holds true, it'll be the number one seeded Brockton Boxers against the eight seed King Philip. A 
11 minutes to go in that one. one nothing King Phillip over the Red Hawks. King Phillip, a team we don't know much about other than they're the number eight seed. And their record is 10-7 and two. School is in Rentham. And other than that, we don't play them. They don't play us. We don't know a lot about them. Just under 13 minutes to go in this one. It's seven to one. Brockton on top of Marshfield. Again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action high atop the turf here in a very cold Marciano Stadium. down on the far sideline, a whistle all the way back at the 40 yard line. Well, Brockton wasting up the clock will cruise the remaining 11.45. One might wonder whether we'll see any Dalton Rocha. Now over the top for Reven Rodriguez, already with a goal today. This one self pass to the corner and still with it is Reven Rodriguez. A bicycle pass into the box, no boxer in the area, but able to recover and finally cleared out by the Rams. Very athletic play there by Riven Rodriguez. Isaac sending this one north to Riven Rodriguez as Brockton's second string has come onto the field. Ryan Fithen coming into the game for the Rams, along with Brendan Baressa. Under 10 minutes to go, Brockton up seven to one over the Marshfield Rams, the top seeded boxers have put on a clinic, a clinic here tonight at Marciano Stadium. Odair Montero, two goals, three assists. Those three assists were on goals by Leonardo Texera. Edson Lopes, Riven Rodriguez. Jonathan Rodriguez and Leonardo Texera adding goals as well. Number 26 for the boxers, Moakir Ramos. 
coming into the game for Brockton as getting his team some valuable playing time is head coach Arminio Furtado. He's now joined by number 21, Bradley Beijing and Paulo Romalo. Romalo started this game as a defender. Eight minutes to go in a very offensive showing game here and another opportunity for Riven Rodriguez. His shot, it's going to go high and wide. And it was punched out by the keeper, Colby Weber, and it's going to be a corner kick. Weber's saying he didn't touch it. I think he's going to win the battle. Colby Weber pleading his case to the officials as Brockton goes for the quick restart off the corner, sending it high in. A lot of confusion on that play is Weber didn't think he touched it. The referees saw otherwise. And offsides against the boxers with seven minutes to go. Max Haberlein and Andrew May into the game for the Rams. Well, in a game that's a lot closer than ours, it's still King Philip over Natick, one nothing. About three minutes to go in that one. If all holds true, King Philip will be traveling to Marciano Stadium on Monday evening. Max Heberlein to take the free kick from about 40 yards out. With five and a half minutes left in the Marshfield season. Come on, Riven. Riven Rodriguez turning on the Jets, gets past three rims. Rodriguez, yes. his cross for Leonardo Texera. Texera, back heel pass, a shot, and a goal for the boxers. Tick, tack, toe. Jonathan Rodriguez up front, I think, was the boxer who pounded that one in. Seven, Seven. Brian Deleuze with the marker for the boxers, and this one continues to get out of hand. Eight to one boxers. So Brian Deleuze on the goal, a rare two assist goal. Daniel Andrade on the primary assist. And Riven Rodriguez on the other assist. So with under four minutes to go, it's 8-1 boxers on top and not slowing down 
Here's the boxer offense, or even Rodriguez sending it up, and now it's a two on one for Brockton, stopping and Marshfield able to catch up to it. And we have a injury on the field, and immediately bringing the card out is Jerry Connors. It's Reven Rodriguez that's down. Three and a half minutes to go in this one, and we have an injury timeout. It's Brockton eight, Marshfield one. We're gonna step aside and take a quick breather and bring you the remaining three and a half minutes for after this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. Welcome back into Colombo Field at Rocky Marciano Stadium for the remaining three and a half minutes between the Marshfield Rams and the Brockton Boxers. This one's a blowout. Brockton's up eight to one. Over the Rams, the last goal scored by Lincoln Senna. The assists stay the same. It was Daniel Andrade and Riven Rodriguez. Brockton's gonna have a free kick from very dangerous territory, about 30 yards out from net. Low kick directly on net, picked up by Colby Weber. Sent back to David Isaac. Brockton clearing it out. And over the top, it's a foot race, and Marshfield's going to come away with it. A lot of back and forth. We have two minutes remaining in this one. Eight to one boxers. The lengthy scoring summary. We'll save it for once the whistles blow out. Imagine this is going to be some of the quickest two minutes we've ever seen. Oh, look at that trip right there. So we have a trip and it'll be a boxer free kick. King Fellow still winning? Last minute substitution for the Rams. It's substitution number four, Colin Cullen. Number four, Colin Cullen. Colin. That's what I was saying. Not an S. That was tough. Not solid. The kid with the bandanas coming off. He's only took a look. It is eight to one boxers. Odair Montero, the player of the game, hands down, no questions. He's got two goals, three assists. Leonardo Texera with a couple of goals. Riven Rodriguez with a goal. Lincoln Senna with a goal. The list goes on and on and on. First goal scored by Junior Gomes. 17 minutes into this one, then Riven Rodriguez got on the board. Leonardo Texera and then Odair Montero got his first. Right after that, Texera added his second. Montero answered with his second, and they were going back and forth for a while. Then Edson Lopes got on the board, and finally Lincoln Senna. The lone Marshfield goal 
coming from number 16. That is Sam Willer. Whistles blow, this one has come to an end. So, it's eight to one. The boxers get the victory against the Marshfield Rams. They will play King Philip on Monday night. Time yet to be determined. The game will be here at Marciano Stadium. We'll have it for you on Brockton Community Access. It's eight to one, there's not much of a summary here. Brockton dominating all facets of the game. Marshfield, maybe with five shots on net the entire game. Sam Wheeler with the only tally for the Rams. Odair Montero, the player of the game. Two goals, three assists for the Boxers. And they move on to the second round of the MIAA South Sectional Playoffs. They will face off against King Phillip here on Monday night at Marciano Stadium. We'll have it for you on Brockton Community Access. For everyone here at BCA Sports, our cameraman, the prolific cinematographer Aaron Tebow, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we will see you next game.